Health, Justice, Development and Peace, in collaboration with Global Peace Foundation of Nigeria, have called on religious community leaders and Nigerians to promote peace and unity, which is a panacea to growth and development for nation building. Plus TV news correspondent Habila Dorofai covered a one-day peace roundtable discussion to interface with religious leaders, youth and relevant stakeholders in Kaduna State. In recent years, some states across Nigeria, including Kaduna State, have suffered ethnic and religious crises. It is against this backdrop that this roundtable discussion is organized. It's to bring together stakeholders, those who are involved in peace building in one way or the other, those who are critical to these issues, religious leaders, civil society, government, and media, the people who are the grassroots proper, where we can continue to talk about peace, especially in this era of electionary season, when we know that uh, politicians and some opportunists could take advantage of already existing problems and begin to latch onto it and cause more trouble. So we hope to continue to preach peace, peace education, peace advocacy, to ensure that there's peace in our land. As you know, no society can develop, no society can secure growth in the absence of peace. Uh, that is why we have decided today to calling on people to observe non-violence and ceasefire wherever they are. Fundamentally, we can mitigate the killings that are very rampant in our country by inculcating in us that all members of the human family are brothers and sisters. Therefore, we have no right. It is not good for us to be killing our brothers and sisters. We should continue to do all that we can with a view to save in lives, regardless of any difference. For Reverend Father Stephen Ojakwa, interreligion, ethnic relation, and dialogue play a vital role in promoting peace. He speaks alongside the program officer of Kuka Center. Divergent views together to be able to talk about peace and wish one another strong, um, peaceful structures that can promote peace and dialogue. For example, as a component of this uh, of today's um, event is a music intercultural music which like a hybrid of cultures of Africa, Europe and, and Latin America. Peace music. So these are some of the functions or some of the efforts KIC tries to put in place to promote um, dialogue and peaceful coexistence among cultures and religions around the world. Every community within Kaduna State to understand our own form of racism. What what aspect of racism or what aspect of tribalism that is keeping us from having peace within our society. So I'll call on everybody within Kaduna State, particularly communities within Kaduna, to understand our own form of racism that is denying us of having justice. That by doing so, we see everybody with an equal eye. That alone can bring inclusiveness within our society. So I call on all to understand those forms of racism, tribalism, and ethnicity alone, that can go a long way. The need for everyone to understand the beauty in the diversity of the nation becomes necessary, even as we inch closer to another general poll. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.